Hello everybody, I am Junior here today, and I'm going to give you guys a, uh, a little how-to for the Serato DJ 1.8 um, public beta, and just like a little overview of it. So basically, if you guys didn't know, Serato DJ 1.8 has been released as a public beta, so that just means uh, it's not the actual like full version, they're still testing it, and they're using the community to help you know find bugs and make it better. So I will leave the link to go and download this public beta in the description below. And uh, yeah, so this is the page agreed with. It's on the forums. And it talks about all the new features. So if you guys didn't know, uh, you can now remap um, sport sported uh, Serato hardware to do what you want. So just basically MIDI mapping. Um, this key detection, that's like a really big one. Um, a lot of its competitors have had it for a while now. So that's really fun to see. Um, key shifting, that's if you have a uh, pitched in time and all that. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of little, little, um, updates too, like iTunes logos updated, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh yeah, also it's like El Capitan is supported, which is good if you're on Mac. And there's like a shit ton of bug fixes as well. So I uh, encourage you guys to look through, see if maybe some of your devices, uh, have had little upgrades. So basically now you'll see that there's a DMG file right here if you're on Mac and a zip um, if you're on PC. And scroll down to the complete bottom, and that's where you'll find the latest uh, version of the beta. So just click download right here, install it, and now we're just going to hop in. Alright, so you're, uh, you're greeted with this warning sign. So, you know, it's definitely be cautious because, uh, say if you have a gig and maybe it's not working that well um, you know it could could cause some fuck ups but so far I haven't had any issues if, yeah so just click enter and here you're greeted so here right now I'm on the offline mode uh, and you'll see all the beautiful keys right here and I'll show you guys how to get that so click right here in the corner right here and then enable the key so basically this is just what I have displayed so album artist BPM and key now, you're going to have to analyze your files, so go into the little settings here and make sure set key is chosen. Uh, if you guys have already your BPM and beat grids already done, you can uncheck that and uh, it will just make the analyzing quicker. It will just it'll be a quicker process. So then basically analyze all your files and uh, yeah, you should have the key pop up. Now I'm going to, oh yeah, before I do that, I'm going to show you guys in setup. If you go in the library and display will have color key display, uh, I suggest you guys keep that on, and also show key as, there's Camelot, classical key, open key, and original tag. Uh, I'm familiar with the Camelot, so um, that's what mixed in key uses. Um, I'll link you guys to a video that explains how Camelot works in the description, because it's very useful if you're a DJ. Uh, then, you know, if you're good with classical key or open key, uh, you can choose that right over here. Alright, so... Um, yeah, and now I'm going to plug in my controller just to show you guys how it looks like, uh, how it's displayed. Alright, I'm just going to look for one of my buddy's songs so I don't have a copyright issues. Alright, so let me just load up this track. Okay, well, I'm having fucking hardware issues right now. Okay, sorry about that. So as you see, it's not 100% stable. It took me like two, three times of plugging in my controller to actually get it to recognize that it was like plugged in, but all right. So here we are. So basically, I just wanted to load a track to, to show you guys how it looks like. So if you see, you got the 2A right here. Um, and if you sort by key, you can find other tracks that are, you know, similar. So I can like technically perfectly mix these two songs together. So. so yeah, like both these songs are in the same key, the same BPM. Yeah. 
so it should be perfectly, um, you know, in sync in that way. Anyway, yeah, so that was just basically to show you guys uh, how it looks like. You can also key shift, but I don't have a pitch in, t uh, pitch in time. So it would be right under, right over here, uh, you'd be able to shift. So say if you had, uh, you know, songs that were completely just not compatible, uh, you know, like in quotes, uncompatible, uh, you could you could shift it to make it sound sound nice. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's basically it for the, um, the key detection. Uh, I think it's it's a really cool little feature. I just want to like show you guys how it worked, um, and that'll be it for today's video, guys. So uh, have a good one. I'll see you guys on the flip side.